Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's crack it. And today I'm back with a new video which is about the pseudo code questions. So in this video, we are going to solve some pseudo code questions which are asked in the placement exams. And if you are not yet subscribed, subscribe to my channel without any delay. And here comes our very first pseudo question, pseudo code question. So guys, uh, give a read to this question. This is the first question. And basic while loop is used and we need to expect the output. Four options are given like initially we have set the integer declared an integer employee number this is an integer okay everything is fine and we are setting the integer salary another integer salary is equals to zero okay two integers are declared and two different values are assigned 101 for employee number and salary is equals to zero and we are using while loop see the most important thing is whenever we use if or while see inside if if we are having one or two any integer any non-zero value the statement will be executed for example inside if if we are having zero the statement will not be executed same for while while also if the uh, integer value inside the while is non-zero then the statement will be executed i hope i am clear enough the loop values will be non-zero so while employee number equals to 501 so here double equals to is different from single equals to where double equals to is a comparison and single equals to is assignment operator two different operator so here we are assigning employee number is equal to 501 so anyhow it is a non-zero value so this will be executed and salary is equals to salary plus 100 display salary so salary is equals to salary initial value of salary is 0 0 plus 100 becomes 100 salary it is printed and again the while loop is running again employee number is equal to 501 so non-zero value salary value incremented by 100 100 plus 100 200 then 300 400 and so on actually there is no end for this loop because always uh, it is having a non-zero value employee number is 501 so there is no end for this loop and this is an infinite loop so option c is the right answer code executes and value of salary is displayed for infinite times and here comes our very second question guys i'm allocating some space for the command like uh, for the output output okay whatever the values are printed i will be writing here so initially there is a variable called result and we declare it to zero so we are using a do while loop what is the difference between do well and norm normal while loop in do well after completion of the all statements the condition is checked okay fine and predecrement is used result becomes minus one minus one and we display result minus one is printed and result is incremented again minus one becomes zero so now we are testing the condition whether a result is greater than or equal to zero yes it is true result is equals to zero condition passed again the loop starts result becomes minus one zero minus one is minus one and display result minus one result is updated again zero so the same the loop runs again result value is greater equals to zero it has a pass the condition and again decrement printing result zero the same runs here so even this is an infinite loop option a is the correct answer and here comes the third question guys here we are using two for loops and order of complexity will be n square remember that so just uh, differentiate the code until here it is a uh, first for loop end of first for loop and end of second for loop is here so this is if statement end of if statement i hope i am clear enough now let's start our solution i am allocating for the output this space okay like the first loop is uh, outer loop is running from 0 to 4 so 0 1 2 3 4 and 4 so five different values and the inner loop runs from 0 to 4 so now initially m value m is equals to 0 for n is equals to 0 to 4 so for every value of m now n value will be n is equals to 0 1 2 3 4 display ash okay 
I'm clear enough. I think. See, the outer loop exudes from zero to four, and the inner loop for each of the each value of m n equal to zero, one, two, three, four. So, I have to print a display hash. Okay, hash is printed for n equal zero, for n equals to one, for n equals to three. In similar manner, five times hash will be printed. M value will M value is equals to zero will be finished, and then M is equals to one will be started. Similarly, again five hash will be printed, and then M value becomes M is equals to two, and again N value starts from zero to four. Again five times hash will be printed. So soon after completion of the inner loop for N is equals to two, here we come across a statement calls if M is equals to two, double equals to two. Then the break break statement is uh, executed. So as soon as the break statement is encountered, encounter we come out of the loop. So hash is printed 15 times. And here comes our fourth question, guys. And uh, it's a simple question related to switch case. And just remember that switch of something, for example, n. You know the syntax right for every there are different cases for each case there should be a break statement if there is no break statement all the statement will be printed that is the case like for example initially c is equals to 7 a character and switch of the character so whenever the case value matches the statement will be executed that case will be executed for example c is equals to 7 7 doesn't match with 1 so this will not be executed this statement then after case is equals to 7 matches display 7 7 will be displayed there is no break hence even case 2 will be executed then after here comes the default case so act normally whenever none of the statements uh, is executed the default value value will be executed printed so here anyhow there is no break statement even the default value hello will be also printed on the whole option a will be the correct answer and here comes our fifth question guys the only logic is assignment operators are used assignment operators equal to it is called assignment operator the only logic is we need to consider the updated value for each in each statement we need to consider the updated most recent value of the recent variable value so a b c three different variables and uh, values are assigned 20 40 20 so initially a is equals to a plus c a value is 20 and c value is 20 a is equals to 40 and again c is equals to c plus a 20 plus we should not consider a as 20 now the updated value is 40 so 60 it becomes and then a is equals to a plus c 40 plus 60 100 and then c is equals to c plus a the latest value latest updated value is 60 plus 100, 160 now the final value a plus b plus c is equals to a we need to consider 100 b as 40 c as 60 c as 160 sorry some of these three is 300 option c is the correct answer so here comes our sixth question guys uh, a basic for loop is used we are running the for loop from 10 to 0 and the value will be running from 10 9 8 7 until the value becomes 0 so this is fine and then we are declaring a variable called z integer called z integer z is equals to x and operator x right shift by 1 this is the logic i mean this is the only statement upon which our code will be executed so here i am allocating space for my output okay fine see the logic is that if value of z is not equal to 0 i mean if value of z is a non zero value then we need to print the value of x so the output will be the value of x for which the z value is non zero that's it simple guys let us consider for the first as 10 and then 9 8 and so on so if the value of x is equal to 10 and z value will be 10 and this is the and operator 10 right shift by 1 see right shift operator i am you, uh, telling you when expressed in binary form 10 expressed in binary form is 1010 10. so if i want to sh shift the shift it to the right i need to omit the rightmost 
bit like it becomes 1 0 1 and append 0 on the left side so 0 1 0 1 what is the value of 0 1 0 1 4 plus 1 5 so 10 when uh, 10 is right shifted it becomes 5 so my value will be 10 and 5 and the 5 value and finding the and operator for these two values it becomes 0 I hope you guys are following me simple it's the value of x is 10 and and the right shifted value of 10 is 5 so performing and operation on 10 and 5 we, we get 0 so hence x value will not be printed and then going to 9 9 and 9 right shifted by 1 we get what is the value of 9 8 plus 1 right 1 0 0 1 and the right shifted value will be 1 0 0 see and the and will will be 0 this is the value 8 4 2 1 so 4 9 and 4 it becomes 0 and even 10 and 5 we get 0 so uh, here the value of uh, if statement is not being executed because of this z value is 0 so when comes to 7 here we perform 7 and 7 right shifted by 1 like 7 and 7 right shifted by 1 value so we get like 7 what is the value of 7 4 5 6 1 this is the binary representation of 7 and right shift, right shifted value will be 1 1 0 0 so now performing and operation for these we get 1 1 0 0 guys i hope you are getting now 7 and right shifted value will be 3 7 and 3 becomes 3 this is a no first non zero value so now our if statement will be executed if of z value 3 print percentile d comma x the x value for which the z is non zero is 3 so 7 so first value will, value will be 7 and similarly for 6 also 6 and 6 right shifted by 1 we get 6 6 representation is 4 plus 2 right so 0 1 1 0 and we get 1 1 6 and 3 the value will be non zero and uh, performing and operation i get 1 2 so this is also non zero value even 6 will be executed so final value will be 3 definitely because we are moving from back to right at uh, 10 to 0 right so anyhow 9 is a uh, the value of 9 we got 0 uh, performing and operator so option a is the correct answer and here comes our seventh question guys and here there are, there are two different variables x and y x is a float value and y is a long int value so we need to consider we need to print something like percentile d an integer size of y double equals to size of x plus y what is the size of y 8 bytes like a long int long int memory occupies 8 bytes whereas float occupy 4 bytes it depends on different uh, depends on the machine actually but here we are asked size of y what is size of y 8 double equals to size of x plus y 12 definitely this is wrong so it returns 0 option c is the correct answer I'm going to tell you another trick whenever the size of operator comes like uh, sorry whenever double equals to operator comes it is a comparison operator so if the comparison is true it returns one if the comparison is false it returns zero so either one or zero should be the answer easily you can eliminate b and d the answer should be either a or c that's it guys here comes our eighth question see here we have declared a number called num int num is equals to 981 fine and then int remainder rem so now we are right running a while loop while loop so the condition should be uh, for any loop to execute the condition must pass like here the condition is number not equals to zero if if and only if the number value is non zero the while loop should be will be running see remainder r remainder is equals to num percentile 4 what is the value of num 
987 percentile 4 what will be the value 4 to the right 4 for 16 3 is the percentile um, 987 percentile 4 remainder is 3 3 is stored remainder is equals to 3 and number is equals to num by 10 num is equals to 987 divided by 10 98 like only the quotient we need to write so and then i have to print remainder after completion of the loop i will be printing remainder not now so i'm going again uh, running the loop again num value is 98 number is not equal to 0 so the condition has passed again the remainder is equal to num percentile 4 98 percentile 4 what is the remainder when divided by 4 98 it gives 2 remainder is equals to 2 and num becomes 98 by 10 9 quotient and then again number is not non-zero value so remainder is equals to 9 by 4 9 percentile 4 1 and then the quotient now becomes number is equals to 9 by 10 9 divided by 10 it becomes 0 now the loop will not be condition will not be passed hence we come to the end of the code print the value will be printed remainder the option not option answer will be 1